Hey folks, welcome back for more Lakeburg Legacies. Since the last time I made a series, there has been a considerable amount of updates to Lakeburg Legacies, so I figured let's go ahead and revisit this game, let's give it a let's try, and now we can see there are multiple save files, so that is great to see, so you can run multiple games. Um, for us, I think we're just going to go classic. Yeah, we'll go classic. No, we'll go short. We'll go short. We'll go game style. Let's see, what are we gonna do? We'll just do regular. In terms of like the challenge and stuff, I'm not really in the mood for it, to be quite honest. <laughs> but I am very curious about all the different stuff that they've added. So let's give it a go here. And again, as we are getting uh, situated here, I do want to thank you all so much for watching the series um, on the channel. Even now, it's still picking up views and I do appreciate the engagement. Um, on it and yeah I just wanted to say thank you for that um, but now they have updated the game so let's see what they've added now we do have a bunch of um, fillers here not fillers filters so we can filter by I think I've seen it before oh is it not here I think I've seen a filter that said filter by potential perhaps we need to be in a building in order to get this to work yes so filter workers per potential that is very helpful because that'll help us uh, get all our villagers um, in a row and let us know who best fits in at what at what profession. So that's a huge plus. As per usual, throw in Romeo here, I guess. Upgrade Wood, go for the standard strat. Uh, in terms of what he's good at, Lumberjack. I think all characters at the beginning are Lumberjacks. We have Brave, Energetic, Proud. Wow, he is, he is amazing, this Romeo, dear Romeo, where art thou? Thine Romy Yo. Let's go ahead and build. No, what do we have here? Whoops. Hit tab to get out. Okay, we'll run time. Or, or I can. No, I was gonna be like, I can find him a partner, but let's get wood going first. Let's get a house going. So, yeah, it's been a while. I'm super interested to see, like, maybe they, if they added new events. All right, with our first batch of wood, let's go ahead and build. A couple of houses here. Oh, you know what? Let's also go to construction, get wood there. We have 10 more so we can build another house. No, we cannot. Uh, wood is 12. What I want to do is I want to throw our Romeo in here. <laughs> Such a fitting name for our guy. Uh, Charisma, age 18, peasant. All right, let's find him a soulmate. We're going to do surroundings and we have a good affinity. Gatherer, fisherwoman, or huntress. So... If I remember the build order, if I go to building, I kind of want to go farm, then maybe sewing, but I want to do farm, hunter's cabin. I think you need these resources. So I, I would prefer a farmer or a lumberjack, to be quite honest. Oh, he changed. What the heck? Is this bug still here? I thought, wait, 301. How many hearts did we have before? Baker and Let me just try this real quick. Am I spending? So if I go couples, go find your soulmate, go surroundings. Amanda. <laughs> okay, so for whatever reason, this bug is still kind of here because I have 301 hearts. If we do this, find soulmates. Is it going to change the person? No. Okay, for whatever reason, we got a new uh, potential match. Now we have a gatherer, fisherwoman, huntress. That could be good. That's later down the line. They are good affinity. Amanda owns the romantic trait. Um, you know what? I'm not going to gamble anymore. I think we're going to keep Amanda. I want to at least have our starter family uh, to have a really good relationship. So let's let's try to do right by these two. I know I could go shopping and, and look for more people, but I think we found Romeo's Juliet by way of Amanda. I think... Oh, do I... I mean, I have 301 hearts. Why even sit on stuff like that? The game is not that deep. Let's just, let's just shuffle. Let's shuffle. Let's keep going until we find a good affinity and then we'll stop. Good, Innkeeper Baker. Good. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Dorothea, Dorothea, Lumberjack and a farmer. Perfect, good affinity. Your lips are a C. When you talk to me, I dive right in. Get it, girl, come on. All right, she has the mean trait. Oh no, what? Romeo, but we're just gonna have to go through with this. She might be mean to you, but you know what? You might like that. You people, sometimes people like that stuff, you know, and I don't think it's right of us to ever kink shame. So maybe you like it when she talks down to you. 
Sometimes I like that. Shut up. All right, <laughs> let's do public execution kittens. So from what I remember, you're all, it's helpful to learn the likes of the second person because it's from the perspective of the dater, like from, from Romeo. So I should only learn executions, muscles, and gossip. That's her likes. Execution, muscle, gossip. Execution, muscle, gossip. Execution, muscle, gossip. Uh, flower... Let's go here. Ah, bummer. Everyone knows that... Okay, let's try this one. What? Oh, she likes muscles. Damn it, I made that mistake. Okay, disturb the peace. Oh, no. Oh, I totally botched this. Never mind, I'll try to remember all of their likes this time. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's... You know what? It's a fail. Um... Good. Okay, we're skipping it. Okay, that's fine. It didn't work out. That That's fine. You know what? Not meant to be. You dodged the bullet this time, Romeo. Gather, lumberjack farmer! Okay, Siegfried! Siegfried and Romeo! Romantic trait? Okay, let's do it. Let's make this work. We, we have this. Alright. Execution, kittens, mussels. Oh, they both like mussels. Executions, kittens, mussels, flowers, feasting. Execution, kittens, mussels, flowers, feasting. Kittens, flowers, feasting. Talk about your favorite songs. Best painter? Oh, okay. Uh, let's do this one. Okay, good. And then, gargantuan display of food is disgusting. No, they love it. He loves it. Uh, wor worry that books might corrupt the mind. Look at this! Romeo and Siegfried! Yes! <laughs> okay, so our first couple. See, Dor Dorothea, Dorothea, Dorothy. She, she weren't it. She weren't it. This man's it. He's it. Let us rejoice. We have gathered here today to say I do to Siegfried and Romeo. Congratulations. Let's put you guys in a home. Let's turn this house into a home by filling those two in it. They're obsessed. Are they happy? Are they in love? I hope so. Let's throw Siegfried into the lumberjack place. Okay. We're gonna save up our money. The barter happens in a year and recruitment's in seven months. Let's go ahead and speed time. This is good. We are in a good place. Okay, so Romeo and Siegfried sharing delicious meal, uh, dipping his meat into the beer. Romeo didn't know how to react. Now this is, do we know the end result? Oh, we do. Make a remark, um, affection, and we gain the offended trait. Or we can do the same and then something might happen. We don't know what, let's try that. It's often better to try something before judging it. Before spitting the whole thing out of the table, how could anyone like this? Romeo and Siegfried spent the rest of the evening feeling disgusted. Oh, well. But they got the affection, so they gained affection. The Mundi couple, oh, is that their last name? Or is that Romeo's last name is Mundi? So they gained affection, they're disgusted, morale is low, and they gained the disgusted trait, but that only lasts for a year. But they gain affection for each other. That's, that's good, right? That's good, right? All right, let's build. Let's build the farm. Nice. Yeah. One thing I really enjoy about this game is just the the real neutral colors and the cozy vibe of it all. I really, yeah, it's so visually appealing to me. Anyways, let's build another thing. What else can we build? The hunter's cabin. Let's do so. We're gaining a lot of wood. We were very lucky to get two lumberjacks. Like, that is amazing. Oh, and a farmer as well. So we can throw him in here now. The thing is, do I want to? Oh, a lumberjack is here and a carpenter. We have a seamstress, which is also pretty good. We're gonna go for Renaud and then throw him in with the lumberjacks and then um, move our husbando all the way to the farm. I think that's the play here. In fact, if we want, really wanna mid-max this, okay, let's go houses. We're gonna build a couple of houses. Um, we're gonna put Renaud, of course, in here. Then we're gonna check out, um, let's see, the hunter's cabin. Can Renaud, can you pull a baddie? No, can you, <laughs> can you pull, let's, let's share, we'll, we'll buy this, why not? Can you pull a hunter or a huntress or a hunt something? Can you hunt? Let's find you a soulmate. Let's, let's get it, uh, my guy. Uh, let's see, gather, farmer, groupie, huntress. Okay, here we go. Good affinity, and she's a huntress. Social trait, that's gotta be good. Is your father some kind of thief? I mean, he stole all of the stars in the sky and put them in your eyes? Yo. He likes executions, she hates it. 
Got it. Got it. Okay. Let's do cuddles, fishing, music, dancing, feasting. Cuddles, fishing, music, dancing, feasting. Cuddles, fishing, music, dancing, feasting. Cuddles, music. Let's do let's do this. Okay, that worked. Let's go for talking about painting. I think she likes painting. Okay, she does like painting. And as Chris says dancing, no, she likes dancing. So let's talk about her favorite songs. Perfect. We got it. Come on, we're on a roll. We're doing this. We're making progress. <laughs> love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes, I do. Get married. Be happy. Let's throw an Adelina into the hunter's cabin. As we were going to do and then we have Renaud into let's oh Romeo's a four but he's passionate in it you know like that's that's what kind of gets me well so here's the filter so if you do filter work by potential that's that so we have Siegfried at three we're gonna put Siegfried in here we can spend to open a second one up and then Renaud can go to the lumberjacks perfect awesome can I upgrade anything let's upgrade this so we can gain wheat at the same time let's close that down okay we're we need money when is the a trader comes in two months so let's hang tight the trader wants 11 11 fur which we do not have yikes uh, when it comes to recruitment 27 all right let's check out merchant gather livestock farmer and a hunter he's a hunter Let's grab him, perhaps. Yeah, let's just grab him. I know we're, we're bleeding through our money right now, but we do need uh, more fur so that we can sell things for uh, our guy here. Awesome. Sell it. Perfect, perfect. And you know what? We can also staff, right? So we, let's go to Robin. Um, oh, Robin needs a home. So we'll put him in here. Let's build another house. Let's get Robin a spouse while he's in his house. Find a partner. I'm going to try to find someone who's good with masonry. We're going to try masonry or farming. I feel like that would be an occupation that we need right now. So we're going there. Surroundings. Uh, masonry. Nope. Okay. Keep looking. We got good masonry. Or farming, masonry or farming, masonry or farming. Does mining, does being a miner count for masonry? I kind of, I mean, maybe it is listed here, but I would like to know. Masonry, like this workshop. Oh, you, what does it require? What's the worker here? It's it, is it a miner? Right? Hold on. No, no, no. This is the mines right here. Masonry turns rock into something else. Masonry, you make stone from masonry. That's not the same thing as a miner. Got it. Prankster, seamstrick, mason. Their, their affinity is awful. So absolutely no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that to our friend here, to our guy. He's a farmer, but I, I want to try to find a mason worker. At the very least. Oh, that was a mason worker. Uh, miner, huntress, carpenter. Oh, here we go. Mason. Uh, average affinity. Mean trait. No, 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 no. Hughes. Hughes. That's that guy. Let's skip him. Mason. Good affinity. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to pick up this guy. He's romantic. Dancing, painting. Wow, they actually like it together. Dancing, painting, fishing. Dancing, painting, fishing. Perfect. Okay, we got the two bars for the affinity scale. Not the best, but better than nothing. Um, we can throw Rolf in, Rolf, Rolf? <laughs> Ruff, Ruff, Rolf, we'll throw Rolf into here and he will do his darnest to uh, do a thing. All right, perfect, okay. New buildings, we can get a sewing workshop so we can get a seamstress. Um, let's check out barter. We can sell wood, which we definitely should. And then we can go into recruitment and find a butcher, innkeeper, mason worker or a dancer. All right, before we look into that, I do want to scan our buildings real quick and to see how much, if we can spend our money to upgrade anything. Now we can upgrade working conditions, which helps with life expectancy. 
but right now i don't think that is worth it we can upgrade this so as they hunt they collect meat which i think is going to be helpful we have 193 to spend for our farm uh, okay we're gonna do masonry 210 to upgrade three to five that's a pretty good one right there we could do oh eight to six so it requires less fur to actually make uh clothing so let's do that and then uh, let's go to recruitment we have man of the evening mason bard he's the only one that really stands out to me because at the very least i can throw him into the mason shop yeah i can throw him into the mason shop and then he could wed and pull some pull another baddie <laughs> pull a baddie let's go ahead and recruit him throw him into this mason shop and see if he can pull a seamster or a seamstress let's also put him in a home definitely should do that uh, go to tab couples throw arion in here find you a soulmate wow they're like 1920 we have a super young village <laughs> We're at a uh, lucky 169. Um, I'm not sure if I want to continue spending heart points for him. He's not... You know what? Let's just keep going. If we dip under 100 hearts, we're just going to find one. Even if it's... We're just going to pair him up with somebody. Even if he's... Even if the affinity is average. We'll make exceptions. But let's see if we can still find somebody. There's got to be someone out there for this man with the right occupation. Seamster. Okay, Bjorn. Affinity good. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes! Get in! Get in! I do throw Bjorn into the sewing workshop. Perfect. We can open up a second one because why not? And run the time. All right, so Romeo and Siegfried uh, were sharing a delicious meal at the inn when Siegfried started dipping his meat. Oh, what the? It's the same thing all over again. Do the same. Be disgusted. Uh, yeah, they're just disgusted again. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's go to build. Oh, we can build a mine now, so we can pull up a miner. Should we get a miner? Um, let's see, mason worker. Wow, <laughs> straight up a mason worker when we don't necessarily need them right now. I might pick her up anyway, however. Oh god, I want to pick up this guy too. Let's pick her up, because she also is a huntress. She's Sibyl is quite um, useful. I hate to say that about people. You're useful, and you're useless. You're not as meaningful to my society right now. Hate that, okay? I don't mean any of that. It's just a video game. Um, we don't have enough wood, so you are homeless, Sibyl. Deal with it, okay? <laughs> Let's build a house. Build, throw her in there, um, and then let's find her a partner, but let's throw her in, where should she go again? She is a, what does she do? What does she like? Masonry or Huntress? What do we need? I'd say we need a farmer. I, I didn't think I'd say I need to say that, but we do. Um, let's throw her into here. Oh, we can't actually. I may have been excessive with my... Let's see. He is a farmer. Okay, so we'll switch out here. And then we'll have Robin go here. Perfect. And we will need to pull a miner. So hopefully she can pull a miner. I mean, a miner, like a guy who mines, or a woman who mines, not like a mine. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Sibyl, you just gotta trust me on this gal, okay? I'm, I'm finding the one for you. But it just takes time. It takes a lot of card reading, tarot card reading, which I imagine is happening right now. It takes a lot of guesswork too. But the fates, they always know what they are doing. Seamstress, dancer, painter. We're gonna have her marry Regina because... I said so, because <laughs> their affinity is at least excellent. But what I was going to say earlier is that I suppose what I could have done is, so every job has, uh, I believe, attribute points to, like perception and strength. So there is a trait associated with the job. So as long as I found a character with high perception and strength, even if they're not specifically miners per se, um, I would imagine they would still be best suited for the job. She uh, has strength of three, which is below average, I imagine. I think this goes up to 10 on the scale of 10. Has this tooltip always been here? Is this part of the update? So she'd be a good innkeeper, jeweler, priestess, seamstress. You know what? We're not going to have Sibyl marry. Sometimes it's good just to have a single person um, in reserve. And when I mean a single person in reserve, I mean an actual single person. We got babies happening here. 
Petra has been born. Welcome to the town, Petra. Getting a lot of resources. Okay, so we can barter again. Let's sell stuff to get money. Let's go to recruitment. What do we got here? A lumberjack and a mason worker. We got a baker, butcher, farmer. And I could be a little overzealous here and pick out a person to try to wed them off later. But I feel like I don't want to be spending all my money right now. In fact, let's go ahead and build more houses. And then also upgrade something. 210. There was an upgrade for 210 here that was quite crucial. Yes, here. I want to be able to make sure that we are making at least two here two clothes so let's do that and then let's run the clock we can wait for a new batch all right here we go renault and rolf are they married they're a couple right sometimes i still find it difficult to tell like who's in a relationship with you oh relationships bad siegfried adelina oh you're married to adelina adelina is your wife got it got it so led by renaud and Led by Renaud and Rolf, a group of fishermen and lake walkers uh, wish to revive an old tradition. Long ago, according to the region's archives, there was once a festival involving some kind of aquatic dragon named Sestia, Sestia, further celebrated by a giant omelette competition. Rather than replicate the event, mayhap another could be reborn from its ashes. Joust on the lake, you get prestige and in the villagers gain an inspired trait. But how long does that last for? Or is it for a long or is it forever? Or we could do the fishing competition, which adds to fish, and it adds joyful to all the villagers. Uh pleasantly surprised, pleasantly surprised. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make it a fishing competition then. Everyone in Lake Berg grabbed their best baits, largest nets, and longest fishing rods to plumb the lake's depths. The event was pleasantly successful, and the catch of the day was tied between Renaud and Rolf, each snagging a truly monstrous fish. In fact, the amount of fish harvested that day was phenomenal, but their appearance was sometimes strange. What? <laughs> the fish looked weird? Anyway, they're still edible. Oh wait, oh, I gotta pause it, pause the time. All right, we have Rat Trainer, Miner, here we go, and Farmer, Hildegard. Um, we're gonna go for Hildegard here. Let's get Hildegard. And then we'll throw Hildegard into here. Open up this for a second miner. Uh, sewing shop, okay. Now we can, I believe, start finding them partners. And their partners are going to fill up, what is this? Have met and now have the following relationship. Renaud Bouchard, and Elenia, he met his daughter or son um, for the first time and now they're a loved one? They met? I don't know, that just sounded a little off to me. <laughs> but um, let's go ahead and marry some of our couples and see if we can fill out some job roles. I'm hoping to find a, seam, uh, a seamster or a seamstress or a miner. Uh, yeah, let's throw in Sibyl again. Let's see if we can find her a soulmate. Here we go. Perfect. Affinity is excellent, and she's a, a seamstress. Exactly what we were looking for. Let's go with gossips are a plague. No, we want to do no cuddles minimum. And then everyone knows big muscles. Let's do that one. All right, perfect. Three jewels of affinity. And then let's throw her into here. And then let's have Hildegard pull a miner. Well, let's do that. Okay, so only two jewels for this affinity bar, but that's that's totally fine. We have two miners. We're gonna live happily ever after, and nothing terrible will ever happen. Oh, we got a rodent's nest. Oh no. Oh no no no. We need a rat trainer. Yeah, we need a rat trainer to prevent uh, people from getting hurt or dying, or yeah, getting sick. Yikes. Uh, who would best fit here anyway? Do we know? Hildegard would. We can, for the meantime, put Hildegard in here. Yeah, just to keep things on the up and up here. Okay, what else can we build? We can build a bakery. Let's do so. So instead of doing the bakery, however, we're going to look for a rat trainer. Should anyone be available? Let's see. Innkeeper, lumberjack. Rat trainer! Oh, we're getting so lucky. <laughs> Recruit, my friend. Welcome to the town of 
town, place. I haven't thought of a name. Wow, you are passionate in it, but she's better than you. <laughs> well, Dagobert, um, we're just going to switch you off anyway. Here we go, Dagobert. And then Hildegard can go back into mining with her hubby. Um, and they'll go couples and then get Dagobert in here and see if we can pull a, a uh, baker. Baker, right? Oh, here's a baker. Average affinity. So you hate to see it. He has a mean trait. No, we can skip. We have the hearts. We've got the meats. No, we have the hearts. We can we can try for better here. Baker, average. Oh, damn it. You know what, Susan? Pardon me, my jaw just dropped open. Okay, Susan, not gonna lie, you could do better there. You could do better there. I'm not gonna hold that against you. We all sometimes fumble our lines. I fumble my speech all the freaking time. But I expect better from you, Susan, and I know that you can be better. I'm rooting for you. I believe in you. Marry this man because we're out of hearts and that's just what we have to deal with. Okay, here we go. At least two two gems on the uh, affinity meter. It is what it is, but we found ourselves a baker. Let's toss her in here. Here you go, madame. And then we have to save up money for these upgrades. That would be nice. All right, we're just speeding up time at this point. We're doing well for ourselves, thankfully. Granted, the game is on a easier difficulty. We've got a bard, healer, teacher, a hunter, assassin, guard. That is interesting. What can we barter? We can barter for clothes. And um, we have money. Can we go to the baker? Open up a second bakery spot. Consume less wheat. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm not going to spend money on these guys. We're going to let time run. Oops, Regina and Adelina. Regina almost never leaves her home, preferring to have a correspondence with people she will never meet, and Adelina happens to stumble upon one of those letters at a friend's and finds the style rather interesting. How could she approach its author? Visit her directly or start a correspondence? Hmm, I would imagine, like, if she wants to be, if she likes writing letters, then maybe starting a correspondence would be a better way? Visiting her directly, getting the confident trait, but you're bothered and scared. <laughs> Wait, Regina, aren't you married to somebody? Everyone should be married to some- You're married to Zabil with a good affinity? Oh my god. And then Adelina, you're married to Renaud with good affinity. What are we doing here? What are we doing? If you do this, you'll gain a crush on each other. What are we doing? So you know what, we're going to go ahead and actually do it because the drama is fun. It seemed more appropriate not to upset Regina's habits. Therefore, Adelina grabbed her best uh, quill to join the circle of her correspondence, taking care not to reveal her identity, which quickly caught Regina's attention. Some rather suggestive and languid epistolary exchanges followed, but the relationship remained platonic and tinged with mystery. For now... Oh my god. What did you people make me do? Okay, we have a baker, hunter, butcher, and a lumberjack butcher toaster. Taster. And a toaster. No I'm kidding. Okay, let's check recruitment. Uh, carpenter, knight, guard, painter, dancer, man of the evening. Okay, let's just run the clock. Okay, who's here? Baker, taster, butcher. Hell, I might want to get Grimwald just because he's a baker. He's also a noble, which would, he would be our first noble in town. Okay, why not? Let's grab him. Here we go, a blacksmith. Good affinity. Perfect. What's his name? Angurand. Angurand? Or Angurand? Is it Gif or, or Jif? Well, here I am. What are your two? What are your other two wishes? <laughs> I, I've read that before too, but there, a lot of these lines, they just make me laugh no matter how many times I, I reread them. Three gems on the affinity and we have ourselves a blacksmith. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's see, upgrade to get some tools out of that. Perfect. Everything's falling into place now. Oh, we have Petra. Hi, Petra. She's the first uh, daughter in our town, or first born in our town. Oh my gosh. We have to give her a mentor, right? That's how that works. So Petra, what are you interested in? She has the potential to be an innkeeper, a merchant, or a jeweler, and more so a merchant with the two aspiration stars. You can click a building and then find potential people to work in it, right? I kind of wish there wasn't the opposite where you can click a person and then you can get like a list of jobs that they would do that you have available in your town. Go with her maybe? No, he has higher stars. 
and higher learning. Okay, go with Bjorn. <laughs> All right. Let's run the clock and gain so much of our resources. I love it for us, barter, sell. Oh, we're capped out. Oh, that's right. We have to upgrade this stuff. I completely forgot. Otherwise, we get capped out at things like meat. We're capped out at meat. Romeo wanted to show Siegfried his luth. Shyly, he sang a ballad he had composed exclusively for Siegfried. The serenade was unlike anything Siegfried had ever heard before. What do you? What did he think of it? It was amazing. It was lousy. No, it was amazing. They're married. They're they love each other. Oh my. My, oh my, Siegfried stood speechless during the well-refined composition. Its usage of intervals and chromatic modulations make it a one-of-a-kind masterpiece. Romeo is clearly a musical genius centuries ahead of his time. Romeo never expected such compliments. Oh, that's, that's nice. All right, wheat minus nine. That is not nice. What are we doing back here? What's happening? We can sell stone, but we are running out of wheat. In fact, next year, we're actually going to be in the negatives. Do we have a farmer here? Oh, we do. Oh, by the luck of the draw, we do have a farmer here. Will he make a difference? He gains four. Uh-oh, that's still not enough to draw even, right? Minus three. Oh, good affinity. Three-star farmer. Let's just do this one. Only one gem on the affinity meter, but whatever. A body is a body. Oh, pleasure house opened. Oh no, we gotta take care of that. Okay, we gotta throw our farmer into here. Oh, we have Elena here? Nice, okay. What would they like to do? How many other new people do we have? Paris, oh, we have a lot of new people here. Okay, let's start with Elena. What do you wanna do with your godforsaken life? Uh, we'll give you to Susan, why not? And then you like the mine, right? We'll give you to Hildegard. Let's see, Hunter, Hunt. Oh, Man of the Evening, perfect, let's get him. Perfect, welcome Sig Sigisbert. <laughs> uh, all right, well, let's barter again for more monies. Alrighty, well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. The countryside joy, the sun is shining, its gentle rays caress the green hills and light up people's hearts. All of Lakeburg is content, basking in the warmth of the sun. A gentle breeze brings out just enough freshness to complete the idyllic picture. In times like these, everyone tends to forget their worries and realize life is good. And with that note, let's go ahead and end the episode. Thank you so much for joining me in revisiting Lakeburg Legacies. I do see that there's been a lot of improvement, especially when it comes to optimization. Um, I haven't run into that bug where uh, portraits uh, switch out for different characters and like the name stays the same. So you're like, you're confused about who's who. It does seem like there's a lot of progress in terms of the UI and simplifying a lot of its features. So um, for more in-depth uh, patch notes or what they have updated, I'll go ahead and link that all in the description below. But I did want to revisit this game just because I wanted to see how much it's progressed. And I think it's at a really good place right now where it combines the cozy genre with colony building while still keeping a lot of of the fun nuances of relationships. I would like to see much more scenes and events that take place that are a lot more varied. I think there's a lot of opportunity there to really flesh out our characters. And I would also like to see a lot more um, simplification when it comes to placing, people's in, placing people into jobs. Because ultimately I think that where this game for me, where I struggle really uh, enjoying aspects of this game is the sense that it, eventually, for me, this game becomes what. I mean, it doesn't depend on the difficulty either. It could be the easy difficulty or the or the more challenging difficulty, in where this game becomes much more of a manager <laughs> simulator, where you're appointing people to certain positions and occupations to keep your town going, and it it almost feels like you're chasing that at a given point. So I'd like to see some rework around that concept because I do feel like the main core philosophy of this game is having fun with relationships, having fun with characters, and then seeing where their stories go from there. But other than that, I want to thank you all so much for joining me. I do appreciate that. And I appreciate you. And I hope to see you in the next episode, whatever the next episode may be. So until then, I will see you then. Thank you again for joining me on this revisit of Lakeburg Legacies. Bye for now.